Okay, so now we're going to move on and to page uh, 130 and 131, we're going to do some harmonization. This week we're going to extend our range beyond just 1 and 5. Not only are we going to have 1 and 5, we're also going to add in other scale degrees. Um, the first one we're going to focus on is mainly going to be over um, 4 and 5 as being kind of the other chords besides 1. But as you can see, if you look um, in your books at 5-23, 5-24, and 25, um, that you have some other scale degrees. So they have those written in for you. So what I would suggest is going through and figuring out every single scale degree um, and writing those in, okay? Um, that's going to be our focus for this week. I want you to get used to this new system before we even throw a transposition into it. Um, so what we are going to do, um, we're going to use 5-23, as um, the assignment for this week, but we're gonna go through the other three really quickly. Okay, so first step, we're going to take the left hand and just figure out what our notes are. We already know what one and four are C and F because we are in C major, okay? All right, this shouldn't be too hard to figure out, but if you need a little reminder, we have C's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we start back over at one, okay? All right, so let's try that. So we have C is one, two, now F for four, one, now G is going to be five because it's our fifth note of the scale, back to a one, one again, this is not the most exciting one, but that's okay, four, one, five, which is G, and then one, okay, now let's add the right hand with it, okay, um, if you don't need to write them down, then you don't have to, but I would suggest writing them. Okay, all right, so one, two, ready, go. expanding just a little bit outside of that. So we are in F major, uh, B flat will give that away, and we are also, one is F anyways. So we're gonna start with that. We know one is F and two is G, so we're gonna go through the left hand first. All right, so one is F, two is G. Next up we have three, so we're gonna go up to A, then back down to two being G. Go ahead and put these hands together, okay? One, two, ready, go. If you could do it without writing stuff in, that's great. If you decided not to write anything in and then you struggled with it, I would write stuff in, okay? Let's move really quickly on then to 5-25. Um, so we have a six in the second measure. So we're gonna start moving a little bit out of our comfort zone. And when we do that, we're just, since we're still in G, six is gonna be, we're just gonna expand our thumb a little bit for that one, okay? Alrighty, so. Let's go ahead and start with just the left hand. So we're in G major. One is G. Six is B. Now we have to go to four, which is going to be C. And then five is D. Five again, so D. And then one is G. It's D. One is G. Okay, let's put that together with our right hand. One, two, ready, go.
All right. So I hope that this is making sense. Um, you'll find out pretty soon why we did not do 5-23. Um, so we'll get a little bit more practice with this, but this is really good to practice before we get to real chords um, and having human numerals and everything. Okay? All right.